afternoon everyone I hope this video finds you well I found this classic in my phone from October 2021 from Charles voicemail this was he made this back when uh, all the Twitter investigations were going on etc etc big sister was watching then and big sister is certainly watching now but I hope big sister isn't the only one watching this video I hope mi6 is watching this video because I have something for them. Something from Meghan Markle's Sussex Squad and what these people actually are like and what they have on their mind. Incited by Prick Harry and Meghan Markle. Me Prick Harry and Meghan Markle incite these people to be this way. Uh, from someone called Paradigm Dream Space. We don't have to blank all of them just the ones in line for the throne above harry honestly that's just a time-honored tradition at this point now mind you folks these people are talking about three innocent children under the age of 10 that they want to do this to also now why would they just want to do that to the ones in line for the throne above Harry oh so Meghan and Harry can sit on the throne because that's actually what these people are after that's what they're trying to do that's what every move that they make is to get them on the throne I don't need to explain that to you folks but this is what Meghan Markle's Sussex squad this is what's on their mind and somebody needs to do something about it I saw this adorable picture of Princess Charlotte on Instagram. Now it is no from Markle Markled 2.0. Now it is no secret that Princess Charlotte is my favorite royal. She's so beautiful. She's already so regal and such a little lady, but she's got an element of mischief to her. You can just see it in her eyes, and I just love this picture, and I thought that you guys would too, so wanted to share it. Then this is just another just typical of Meghan Markle's Sussex squad from Samantha Markle. <laughs> I see that she's calling herself Sammy's water cooler talk from Samantha Markle on Twitter shows a picture that these crazy insane people have taken a picture of a couple in a delivery room and and used Harry and Meghan's faces to make it like that's their pictures. These people have serious issues and this is just you know the little bit that I see on Twitter other people's there's people are sitting sitting on mountains of this kind of stuff they have serious issues they're 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 mentally ill folks Cami Soto on Twitter uh, pointed and I'm gonna play the video for you look at her left eye why is it blinking the right one isn't that's some that's some scary creepy stuff now I know I have my opinions as to why her left eye is, <laughs> is the only one blinking let me play this for you folks now this is when they're talking about Jason Knopf and Prince William and that's your brother that's your brother from the the mock you series I think she's blinking her left eye like just go along like she's winking at him like go along with it just go along with it blame your brother blame your brother because they're talking about how Jason Jason Knopf you know submitted that ed evidence etc etc we all know the story she's winking at him like just go along with it just go along with it do what I tell you so those are my theories of why I don't think she's twitching she's winking at him play along do as I t do as I tell you go with my lead follow along Harry do what I tell you Harry <laughs> Now these headlines should become as no surprise to anyone from page six and Vanity Fair are just saying they're done. Uh, Prince Harry and Prince William are done. Now I don't know. I mean I think that they've been done probably since the Oprah interview and we'll get to that a little bit later but I mean it's over between these two. I, I don't see how, the, how the, they can come back. Um, I mean it, it's just they're done. Good. No, Prince William is done. Prick Harry, if if he can, if, if they think that they can still get something out of Prince William, which they they probably realize that that's pumping a dry well. Uh, 
he might not be done, but Prince William's definitely finished with these two. Um, so from Perel, Perez Hilton, I thought this was interesting. And for th those who don't know, Perez Hilton is like the original celebrity blogger who got kind of, you know, blogging, got, he started like the whole thing. Uh, and, and a lot, he's got millions of followers. And he writes, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, a little boring or very boring? So even when these two are, th are, are trying to take down the royal family, they're still, it's still like watching paint dry, folks. They're not interesting people. Even when they've got an interesting subject to cover, they are not interesting people. And it's obvious to everybody. Uh, this this magazine cover is hysterical from the new european world exclusive nothing about these two inside everybody they make everybody sick like by the time i watched those final three episodes and i did my final three reviews they had me in such a bad mood that like i just was like oh deed i'm oh deed on them I mean, I like this funny stuff and everything, but as far as like watching them, you know, and prick Harry spirit, the whole world is OD'd on them. No one's going to, I mean, no one's going to be interested in hearing his book and the same stories. And, you know, th these two are, they're losers. <laughs> Very proud of our own Trevor Colt. Uh, decorated from Charles voicemail. Decorated Iraq, Iraq war hero brands prick Harry appalling for criticizing the royal family in his explosive netflix series now trevor cold has come is taking a lot of fire from prick harry and megan and they're trying to silence and stop him at every turn but he's a true soldier and military hero and is not going to be silenced and is not going to be stopped and uh that's that's what our soldiers are about folks he's fighting for all he's fighting for his own freedom of speech and he's fighting for everybody else's and so we should all applaud him i know we all do um this just real quick harry and megan's great miscalculation the sussexes have lost more fans than they've won over shocking i know Ladies and gen gentlemen that's a wrap the last leg of megan and harry's docu series at aired Thursday, where we learned about institutional gaslighting. These two are so ridiculous. How terrified Harry is of big bad Prince William, and what Beyonce thinks about the whole saga, obviously. And we'll get to Beyonce, folks. I'm sure you've heard. The final three episodes, admittedly, were the bombsh- were the bomb- bombshell some hoped for harry and megan's usual approach of ac accusing nameless figures of terrible acts went out the window prince william as the villain correct king charles didn't come off much better eh. hell they even threw in some sly digs at the late queen for many brits this is a cardinal sin now i think that they really only went after prince william I mean, yeah, there were little things here and there, but these two tend to stay away from directly criticizing whoever's sitting on the throne. Just like in the Oprah interview, they were like, well, it wasn't, it wasn't my gr grandmother and my grandfather. It wasn't Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. It wasn't them because they were sitting in the position of power. They probably took, edited the thing, most of the things out that were in there about King Charles, the negative things, because now King Charles is sitting in the position of power. And so they, the only one really left is Prince William. You know, unless you're the Sussex squad, then you can start talking about doing horrible things to three young children. But they're not, they're not in the position of power. What these two don't realize is just don't criticize people. Somebody's going to be in the position of power sooner or later. I mean, it's, they, they're, they try and cozy up to who's ever in charge and who can ever do something for them and prince william can't do anything for them right now so he's the villain these people are scumbags so as you probably have now heard by now Neil Sean confirms that after talking to reps for Beyonce, they have no memory of sending a text to Megan praising her for the Oprah interview. You know, when Beyonce said she needed protected. You need protected. Wow, another celeb stating they don't remember their meeting, text, lunch date, or seeing her at a rescue center to buy a pet. That would be for Ellen. Now, Megan did say something interesting in the in the series like they did 
they did meet at the Lion King. We all saw that on tape. But when Beyonce allegedly, which, uh, okay, when when they said Beyonce <laughs> sent the text, she said, I'm just surprised Beyonce even knows who I am. Like she had never met her. Like I didn't understand. I'm just surprised she even knows who I am. Like you, you met her. I, like we all, the whole. Like she can't even keep her own lies and her own stories straight, folks. Did she forget that she met Beyonce? I don't know. It's just, it's hard to. She can't even keep her lies straight. So how how are we going to be able to keep her lies straight? Well, we do a better job than she does. From Perez Hilton again on Instagram, Prick Harry and Meghan Markle won an in-person meeting and apology from royal family before they'll consider attending attending King Charles' coronation. These two are acting like this coronation can't take place without them. Like, these two think that the earth can't spin without them. Where they get this idea, well, she's a narcissist. They're, he get He's getting the idea from her because she's a narcissist, obviously. Harry and Meghan won a meeting with royal family post-note Netflix special. Prick Harry and Meghan Markle reportedly want to sit down with the royal family to air out unsettled grievances. Well, everybody knows what their grievances are. We think they probably have more. I mean, I guess we'll find out in space in hopes of an apology this is not after this is after not feeling satisfied post netflix there's nothing is going to satisfy these two until they're sitting on the throne and the entire all of the heirs in in front of prick harry are gone According to the Sunday Times, a source close to the Sussexes says Harry and Meg would very much like a meeting with senior members of the monarchy, presumably King Charles. They may have a chance with him only because he's the father. Prince William, that's never going to happen. To tackle issues they just laid out in their series, Harry and Meghan. Well, maybe if they didn't lay out their issues in a series, Harry and Meghan, they might have a chance of this meeting. But one thing, though, folks, that we I think we can count on, because he keeps, allu- you know, and it's like, we hope that they don't get these meetings. We hope that they don't give in to Prick Harry and Meghan's demand. H.G. Tudor has pretty much alluded every way but Sunday, um, you know, in, in so many different ways, that he is advising the royal family. So, you know, we d- hopefully... He's at the helm and just directing this entire show and that Prick, Harry, and Meghan don't get what they want. That's all That's all we can hope for. And in the comments section, let me know if you also think that, if you've also noticed how he alludes to, because he keeps saying, well, they're getting great advice. They're getting world-class advice. They're under advisement. I think he's advising them. So just that's one, one thing that, you know, we can keep calm and carry on about, folks. Um, this I thought was just this funny, this headline. The News International from Markle Markled 2.0. Instead of getting apology, prick Harry to bow before King Charles at coronation. And this headline is what made me think of H.G. Tudor. Like, you will get no apology. If you want to come, you have to bow down to me. I'm the king. That's the way that it goes. We're, you're nobody. I just, these two just get, you know, it's so hard to get through some of these, these videos sometimes, folks, because they just get me so irritated the more and more I talk to them. Prick from B. York. Prick Harry is seen visibly upset after receiving a text message from William following his interview with Oprah Winfrey saying, I wish I knew what to do. Of course, he's asking his wife. Uh, She writes, I'm dying to know what Prince William said in the text. Did Prince William even text him? We don't know because Beyonce didn't. And Megan gets up and she said, well, let's just get some fresh air before we figure it out. So Prick Harry is scheduled to be on 60 Minutes with Anderson Cooper. Now, Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes with Anderson Cooper on January 8th. Now, now Anderson Cooper is a woke liberal, but Anderson Cooper is also a serious 
journalist. And Anderson Cooper is also a Vanderbilt and likes tradition. So that'll be interesting to see. I, do, I don't think he's going to let Prick Harry off easily. Not like Oprah, not like Gail King, not like some of these hired interviewers that are in their docuseries that are hired to make them look good. Anderson Cooper is not going to let him off, and I look forward to that. Prick Harry's in, a, in for a rude awakening. Then this is, of course, from Megan Narciss, I thought was hilarious. Harry and Megan, the story behind the story. And this is a fact. He, she, she has him wrapped up in change, and he is completely clueless as to who he's married to. I said in my review, you know, he was like, they found out we, we were living in Canada. They found out we were living in Ty Tyler Perry, who or living at Tyler, Tyler Perry's house. Who's doing it? Who's doing it? Who's doing it? Your wife is doing it. She's the one who leaks all of the stories. <laughs> From Markle Markle 2.0, Harry never wanted to admit that it was the queen who said, you're out, because she was the one in the position of power at the time. In the Oprah interview, and even now, he doesn't want to say that because then that ruins his, his, you know, if the person in power, if they're not close to the person in power, they can't grift as much with some of these people that are offering them deals. Royal courtiers dismiss Prince's Netflix claims that Queen, Queen was influenced by her aides, saying he couldn't fathom he was no longer able to sweet-talk Grandma. Well, Grandma was still the monarch, and Grandma was no fool. She was just a grandma, but she was no fool. Uh, this from Markle Markle, somebody tweeted, I fully intend to boo Charles at his coronation. Why won't he defend his subjects from his slanderous son? I'm not a racist and I resent his accusations. In the comments section, folks, let me know if you guys agree, with you Brits or if people from the Commonwealth agree with this twist. Do you feel like you're not defended, like he is not def he's not defending you from Prick Harry and Meghan's uh, attacks? Because that's what they are. Do you feel undefended? Uh, from the TIG, only Title I, Queen of Manipulation, Scam, Blackmail, and Extortion. And she points out, you know, that is a kind of a little bit of a bizarre picture, and that's all that I will say about that. From British Royal, Today News, do your take... Do you take your ma'am stalker to be your wedded wife? I do. I'm Diana 2.0. She is Diana's stalker. It's the whole thing. These two are the, so bizarre. And I and the I'm just so glad. Now the world's starting to see their grift and their their wine fest and everything, but the world needs to see some of the really truly strange things that these people do. That's what we need to do a better job of, folks. The str I know we're, we're all working as hard as we can, but they need to get like, you know, the strange things that these two do and the bizarre and and learn more about their Sussex squad. We need to do a push on the Sussex squad. That's what needs exposed next, because those people are a, ref a reflection of, of Meghan and Harry, and Meghan and Harry incite these people to think that the way they do. They make these fake photos of their kids. They've always been doing that. And then the tweet at the beginning that I hope MI6 sees. Then, then, now, Prince Louis is coming up on a, a on a close second to Prince. You know, I I feel so sorry. I feel bad, like saying. It's not that I dislike Prince George, but he's just got he's got a he's he's got a role and he's got to be the more serious one. These other two, you can see their personalities. He's, you know, he keeps his personality under wraps. Prince Louis is set for starring role in Christmas Sandringham celebrations after the mischievous four-year-old stole the nation's heart at with his Queen's Jubilee. Jubilee antics, senior royals will give him a chance to shine amid Harry and Meghan row. No more about Auntie Meghan. So he's a close second, and I just adore these kids. And they and 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 again, the person, the tweet, the the paradigm dream space wants to end these children so Harry and Meghan can sit on the throne. 
So that's all I have for you today, folks. Kind of like a cluster of, of a bunch of random different things. But that's what I saw. And uh, definitely looking forward to your comments. And when you are writing your comments, remember that Big Sister is watching. Try, you know, if you want to directly um, address Prick Harry and the Megan, Megan, Prick Harry and Megan in the comment section, go ahead because they read them. I was in their documentary. Uh, just try and keep it as clean as possible because we don't want to seem like the Sussex Squad. But I know you will because you're, you're all good people and we're not heathens and savages like the Sussex Squad. So definitely looking forward to your comments. See you later.